Fossils were unearthed in what's called the Cradle of Humankind, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in South Africa. Renowned for having the largest known concentration of human ancestral remains anywhere in the world. The Cradle of Humankind is the single richest place in the whole world to find these our early pre-human relatives, these hominin fossils. And the reason for this is to do with the geology. So our pre-human relatives would have lived all over the southern African landscape. Now for the first time, scientists are using what is called molecular traces from these ancient teeth to be able to peer further into the biology of our ancient relatives. And this study is so groundbreaking because we can understand a lot from the fossils themselves. And these teeth are like these little time capsules that they've preserved the enamel proteins. And those proteins, of course, um, are made by DNA. So we get like this little echo of the DNA from two million years ago. The method called paleoproteomics analyzes ancient proteins, which last much longer than DNA, especially in Africa's climate. This is vital where ancient DNA often doesn't survive. We haven't had any genetic evidence for anything really within Africa older than 20,000 years ago. And that's why the um, proteins, the ancient proteins are so important. Uh, the ancient DNA doesn't seem to, at least as far as we're aware now, survive into the deep past in an African context, but these proteins do. And so they can actually give us an insight into not even just 500,000 years ago, but in the case of this study, you know, two million years ago. The species is called Paranthropus robustus. By extracting enamel proteins from four of their teeth found at Swartkrans cave, researchers reconstructed partial genetic profiles. We found uh, that through these four teeth, um, you know, some of them are male, some of them are female. So we, allowed, we were able to say something about sexual dimorphism. And so it's really something that we wouldn't be able to do without those proteins. This breakthrough fills a major gap in Africa's fossil record and marks another significant shift with African scientists like Dr. Paleza Madupi helping lead the research. This research is predominantly done in Western labs where I truly, truly hope that going forward, this type of research, especially when we're looking at paleontology, um, ancient biomolecules, it would include African uh, scientists, uh, South American scientists, essentially the global majority in this type of work. Living between 2.8 and 1.2 million years ago, Paranthros robustus lived alongside early humans but followed a different evolutionary path. Now African scientists are using cutting-edge tools to place their story and Africa at the center of human origins. Julie Shara, CGTN, Cape Town.